Hey, how are you guys doing? It's the Market Sniper. Yes, quick little update uh, while we're driving. It's been one of those kind of days, um, rushing around, rushing around, uh, and enjoying the markets and uh, enjoying the gold getting recognized. Yes, there was quite a strong pullback. Of course, they don't like the gold price going up. They don't like the gold price going up. It was actually this very car when we were talking with Tom of Palisades uh, on Palisades Radio as we were going through the Karoo uh, about this impending moment. And we obviously did further updates on that. Um, so what comes next? Well, the interesting thing is gold permissions, but the real runners that have hung on to more of their gains is actually the crypto market. So crypto has done well. Bitcoin and Ethereum, the big boys have done well. There's the odd project that has slightly done more, which is probably uh, very much getting the status pump like a Solano. But literally, if you'd been in Bitcoin and Ethereum, we had real setups on an Ethereum that we were discussing. You could have done exceedingly well um, with that. So, but gold is the trigger. Gold is the one that said, okay, the race is on. You can go now. Um, and the big thing we're waiting for and this will probably have a very useful timing. So people have a, sometimes have issues because everybody works in a mental silo. You know, I trade gold and silver, screw crypto. I'm not one of those crypto kiddies. I don't know what to make of that. And then you have the crypto people. It's the future, it's new. All that other stuff is old tech. And I sit recognizing both sides of both camps, but long run, the one thing that is historically always going to be relevant is gold even in a power down situation that said bitcoin is making me the money right now ethereum is making me the money right now more than my a similar size if they were all things being equal same size silver and gold those have made more money uh, the cryptos have made more money but they needed each other bitcoin and crypto needed that response from gold to the events of jay powell and everything else um, it needed to happen so that you could get the permissioning of such an event to take place. So what you need to understand is these things are supportive as well, conjunctively. And then when gold and silver rest, you actually get a bit of a surge in crypto. So part, they're competing, but they part the same family, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of like the family is anti-fiat and the anti-fiat wants as a family to do well. But then the brothers in between them are competitive and the younger brother wants to run faster than the older brother. But the, the, the dad of the family, Gold, and the younger, the brothers all want to run faster than dad. The granddad, or even <laughs> Gold, because he's been around a while, the granddad has to permission this. I wish I could share these views with you, man. Um, this is known as Boys Drive, and that's the drive. Uh, we've got to do a, a drive-by and touring. I'm probably covering the camera. I got the wrong hand. A bit dangerous. There's the shark spotting bay. People that love to a preserve sharks, also spot sharks to save the surfers from getting chewed up. Anyway, uh, before I do something too stupid and uh, end up going over the cliff in a two and a half ton car, uh, which is a pretty crap idea, especially if it's got a glass roof. Um, uh, it'll, I'll be the next guillotine candidate. So yeah. What everybody's got to understand is that this is a signaling. The family is going to do well. The family is anti-fiat. But the granddaddy says, it's okay. Everyone can now go to the beach. You can go and have fun. It's your time. Um, and you can run. And the youngest and the sprightliest, which uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are, have the most energy. You know, it's kind of like, uh, they like the puppy dogs running on the beach. You just take that leash off and they off like dirty socks on laundry day. Wham! Um, into the water, running up and down, sniffing backsides, left, right, and center. Um, and then, you know, gold and silver, like um, the more teenage or even, as I say, the old elderly, even we can say, the grandparents on the beach, they'll stroll on and they'll go and have a walk around. So you get slightly less bang on the upside. But if dad doesn't say, or granddad doesn't say, get in the car, we're going to the beach, it doesn't happen. So the triggering event was gold. Once they start to trigger and gold and silver have a little bit of a pullback, we actually got a second wind on crypto because then it's okay, gold is moving, um, it's done well, but now it's getting a little bit of a pushback. Roll that money into the more volatile one and the second stage has actually been um, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Go and check our Twitter to see where they are 
Ethereum, we have a specific target where we will take some off, but it's all part of a much longer general upside move. Um, so pretty awesome. Yep, pretty, pretty awesome start to the week. Went to bed at God knows uh, 2.30 last night, up early, and uh, gonna go dunk in the sea. Gonna go meet some old schoolmates. Um, for those of you in South Africa will know Cork Bay, uh, the brass bell, the bell that used to ring at, on the tide to warn ships that they were coming and they literally used to hang a bell on and the tide would go on imagine living with that din and noise that pub hangs over the sea it's really beautiful um and it's a beautiful day as you can see here i like to be where the sun shines you know i don't need to do uh wet and gray i don't find it particularly stimulating i don't find it energizing so go where you treat it best in weather go where you treat it best in quality of life go where you pay the least tax to criminal governments, all of those things are important. And those are things we think a lot about. It's not also what you make, it's also what you keep and our usual catchphrases. Um, and I'm just here to say seminal moment happened. Do not forget that a seminal moment has truly happened for the precious metals. And don't be put aside by it gets a pullback and then it goes dull and quiet for a week or two. This time you're not sitting for three and a half years waiting uh, for the sun to come back out. Uh, this is summer. The sun comes out every day now um, in terms of uh, the, the prospects. Miners haven't even really begun to fight in terms of this big game. That's right, miners haven't even really truly begun to fight uh, and there'll be equity miners that you can pick up that will absolutely still kill in due course. But again, you've got to wait, remember, their incomes were locked in because they hedge often a certain percent, some not all of it. Uh, they sell forward. Uh, they also their costs have climbed immensely with all the energies, uh, everything that's gone on in the energies market. All of these aspects are actually things that are affecting where you are uh, right now. And as a result, those costs don't go away. They've got higher. So the, the equities go up when their earnings are likely to go up a whole bunch more and their earnings are likely to go up a whole bunch more as and when they get a sustained period of upside and this is why some people are miscommenting in my view regarding that it's not a real bull market on account of the fact that the, uh, the equities aren't running the equities follow the equities always follow they want the profits they need the profit. There's the alerts. Don't go any further forward, Francis. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's it. A quick update from yours truly um, to tell you. Seminal moment has occurred. Seminal moment has occurred. Do not look the gift course in the mouth. Uh, get out, go enjoy your life, but make sure you get some of your equities. Miners will start to perform once you have sustained periods above those levels. And we will need higher platinum prices to come for the reasons I've outlined before in other videos, such as 73% coming out of this country, 10% out of Russia. And the actual break even is 20,000 Rand. And we're at about 1875 on the South African Rand. And you're less than $1,000 on platinum. You're at 935 last time I looked, although I haven't looked in the last few days. And it should have moved a little bit uh, with gold. So that's a bit of an old quote. But that's marginal, marginal. And the only reason they were able to continue do, uh, serving is because rhodium and um, the others uh, were actually getting super high prices, palladium. But now palladium has been in a, in a major downswing. And rhodium as well um, is no longer getting what it was getting. Substantially, at one point it got, you know, 30, near 30,000. And now it's four grand. That's a heck of a four. So those are smaller platinum group metals that just aren't getting what they were getting uh, some time ago. So that's some things to think about. Those other metals will also move. But initially you want to be with a boss and gold. I would certainly say invest. Pure gold link below. Don't forget if you want to support our channel. And you will still pay the exact same price I pay. And get amazing service from great people. Okay. That's it guys. That was just a super quick update on a nice little drive. Uh, I want to show you more of this drive one day. Uh, maybe we'll uh, get a camera out. But I've got to go uh, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.